that do. mic close, damn it. All right, and welcome back. To those just tuning in, Ross, our special guest tonight, has just promised to sing everyone a door song. Ross, take it away. I don't know the song that I'm singing. Is this, is this the season? I got the Jim, Jim Morris voice down. What do you guys think? Uh, I think our fans in Ireland will really, really appreciate that. Uh, Riders on the road. On the road? Yeah. Uh, don't interrupt, Phil. Ross, keep going. Take it away. That's all I know at the moment. Was that singing or you were just saying that? I was just saying that. Okay. All right. In intimate evening yes. with Sir Dino. Yes, yes. Sir Dino. All right. Uh, yeah, we're go ahead, Bill. No, all right. So, I'm not really good at doing laundry, so I run out of underwear pretty frequently. Yeah. But now it's getting colder. It's December in Chicago. So what I've been doing, and Ross, I don't know if you've ever done this, but instead of wearing boxers, which I'm accustomed to wearing, I'll just wear pajamas as boxers. And that's uh, that's what's going on with me. That's and, cool. And it's great. It's like wearing long underwear. But Why don't you wear long underwear? Well, because it's hard to shit and piss, right? Well, like I don't own any long underwear, and it's like why I'll just wear boxers mm -hmm. or pajama pants. So normally I do boxers, jammies, and then my work pants outside. But, you know, no laundry, so I was out of boxers. So yep. I just do pajama pants, regular pants, and it's cool. It's fine. I stay toasty. Um, but... Yesterday, I was on my, or not yesterday, like two days ago, I was on my way home, and my pajamas started sliding down. Like, so, I don't know, I'm going to try and paint a picture for you guys with my words. Was there somebody walking behind you doing this? No. Did you let them know? No. No. Man, it was like having a reverse wedgie, where like, your underwear falls down, and it's like, you know you're not going to lose it, because... Like, there's no way it's going to fall off. Yeah, yeah. It's not like that, you know, the Zoolander uh, walk-off where he yeah. pulls underwear out. It's not like that. It's just like, all right, it's falling down. Every step I take, it moves a little further down, but it's going to get caught by my crotch. And yeah. that's just where that's where the waistband of my underwear slash pajama pants were. Mm -hmm. So, like, for the 30-minute walk home from... <laughs> From the blue line to my house, <laughs> I was doing like a cowboy like sidle, mm -hmm. you know, which is like fucking pajama pants, waistband around <laughs> my <laughs> that, mid thighs. That, that reminds me of that Primus video where they're cowboys. That what is that? Too many puppies or <laughs> too many puppies? I don't, I don't know. No, the lyrics. Ma maybe we're known as Big Brown Beaver. Maybe I, I'm not a big music video guy. Okay, but anyway, that's <laughs> that's what's going on in my life. I'm, I'm sure you're really happy you asked. Um, yeah, no, that that reminds me of, um, uh, well, it reminds me, uh, I think I have a story, but I was of uh, relating to this, but that, ha what happens to me, I don't know, it, it's kind of, I guess, similar uh, aggravation. I, I started, I'm trying to, I'm starting to think if I should run naked on the treadmill, because whenever I run with boxers and shorts, my nutsack pops out. And also, I get like a wedgie in back, but then it goes down in front, and then like I'm like, it's it's like s slapping your nuts left and right on your legs, and it's just torture. Like you're eventually out of breath from getting like kicked in the balls type yeah. feeling. And I don't know. What to, so I started running just in my boxers, and it depends if you wear briefs or boxers. Sure. Usually briefs is okay, but then they're so tight a nut sack might pop out. Sure. And that reminds me that I didn't even know this. Do you guys know that it's a f medical fact that one of your nuts is supposed to be bigger than the other? Yes, it's supposed to look like an avocado tree. I know, learned that from having the Tesco cancer. An avocado tree? When avocado are being grown. It's supposed to look like the tree, like with branches and shit? It's, it, it, the avocado, uh, on, uh, one is on the top, the other one's on the bottom. That's how they, they grow. So that, that's how your Tesco. So like an avocado, not the tree, though. 
Well, the, what how avocados are, are grown. I don't yeah. Really, yeah. Well, so, the avocado itself, not the tree. I'm saying They're, I'm they, not gonna they, have they, fucking they branches grow, coming out of my. In, in okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So how I known that is because when I when I had the days that I I was uh. The, is it like a Siamese twin? One on what, like like a like a ball sack. One on on the top. One on the bottom. So okay. If if you have cancer, it's like one's big on on each side. Yeah. So that's how you can tell if you have a uh, test. Oh, cancer. when it's when they're equal size. No, one's bigger, but they're, uh, they're not one on top of each other. Okay. You don't understand. Did you, what did you know this, Bill? No. Yeah. yeah. No, this is news the, to me. The, the The reason why it reminds me of that is because I have a friend who, uh, her name's Nancy. I won't mention her last name. Maybe she doesn't want to be. She's like a genius. She was the person who she grew up in Park Ridge. She got straight A's on everything. Had very. Li- she had a really controlling, cunt mom. And what do you know? She was best friends with my mom. Hey. No. But, oh. But, it's like, I'm not even kidding. It's my mom's her only friend, and and she's my mom's only friend. But they, uh, yeah, she had a very controlling mom. She she and she's like a really renowned fucking doctor right now. Uh, she she's she's got like two two doctorates. She and and the funny thing is, <laughs> she's single. What when? It, uh, I don't know. Hook a brother up. I don't know, man. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll have to see. You're stealing my shtick, Ross. She she told me she was my girlfriend when we we're six years old, so I don't know Ooh, how if oh. the status of that. No, but any anyways, she uh, the the, the two times that <laughs> the two times that I called because I only see her like on holidays, and it's just so you you know that type of situation where you have somebody where it's like, uh, they're kind of an acquaintance, they're kind of a family friend, but you call them when you need them only, you know? Sure. So. The two times that I called her, the first time was when I when I tweaked out on that edible and I told my brother to kill me because I thought I was going to be mentally handicapped for the rest of my life. Was this at the thrill kill? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So so that was one time where I called her because I, I, I literally the conversation was, could it be possible that when you hallucinate, you realize that you're a homosexual? Because I, th- because I was like tweaking, and I thought I was, I, I just transformed into a homosexual, and this was while I'm high. And then she called me back. She's like, "Uh, is everything okay still? Are you alive?" Because I, I I'm like, "What?" I told, I asked you if I, is it okay that I'm gay now? Because I, I, I didn't remember any of this. And then the second time, I was just driving, and I'm just like, "So I'm wondering, uh, is there any way that you can determine on the phone if I have ball cancer?" And she, and she explained this to me that one is supposed to be bigger than the other. So I didn't I didn't know this, and I guess it's because there one of them has a vein that's supposed to be bigger, because it has a bigger flow. So I guess it kind of works like a uh, scales, like an With, avocado tree. Yeah, there yeah. is uh, a lot of different kind of testicle cancers. There's like three or four different kinds. So this the, the, the what are the different kinds? I I can't tell you at the top of my head. It, the the one I had was called melanoma. Which the singer from Testament had one not really real had that kind of cancer. And uh, I thought melanoma is like I'm you know I'm you know uh, Stan's grandpa in South Park, where he's got like all those spotty things on his hands. I thought that's melanoma. I'm probably saying it wrong. No, I'm on. It's one. Of, it's a. I'm, I'm saying it wrong. I know it, but it, 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 there was different cancers. I can't. No, really but but I thought that's what it was. Do you know what I'm talking about, Bill? Yeah, I thought melanoma was skin cancer, but I don't. Isn't it like those uh, where you get like moles all over you? I think he has liver spots. Oh, is that? So I don't. I don't know. I'm, call Nancy. Where? Yeah. Call, oh yeah, I gotta call her now. <laughs> no, I'm, no, it, it's 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 something similar to. The, I can't remo- I can't pronounce it correct. Get fucked up, dude.